What's up everybody, Michael here. So around two years ago, Apple did something quite unusual at their iPhone keynote. They announced a brand new Apple designed wireless charging mat, even though it wasn't ready for release yet, which was quite unusual from Apple considering they usually just show you the final product and the accompanying dongles and adapters that you'll have to purchase separately. Now what was special about this wireless charging pad is that it could charge three devices at once, and this was very exciting for a lot of people, until it was cancelled. And then, the world ended. There's some news here uh, just breaking on Apple. Apple has cancelled its air power product. Officially cancelled. This is unprecedented and really unbelievable. This product is just too difficult to engineer. Even Max Weinbeck confirmed it. It is so bad, but you know what, we move on. It, why can't... The, the biggest company in the world make a wireless charging mat. This thing even had its own Wikipedia page. And this embarrassing cancellation was reportedly due to overheating issues caused by the air power's multi-layered coil design. But then, a year later, a small plucky company in China called Xiaomi announced they'd done it. And I have it right here. According to my direct phone copy and paste translation, this pad is called the Self Run Millet Original Multi Coiled Wireless Fast Charging Board by Xiaomi. Well, they've beat Apple on marketing already. In the box, it's pretty simple. You get the charging pad, the power brick, good, and the USB C to USB C cable. And that's all you need to make this thing work. Oh, I should probably tell you the price. Self Run Millet Original Multi Layered Cord Wireless Fast Charging Board by Xiaomi is $90 USD. Much cheaper than the reported $250 price that AirPower was rumored to be priced at. So the pad itself is a nice, clean, simple design. It has a silver metal like finish around the sides, and above that, a shiny metal like chamfer that goes all the way around. On top, it has a white leather-like finish, which was not what I was expecting, but it's actually really nice because when you put your phone down to charge, your fingers do sometimes touch the pad and having that leathery texture, that kind of feels good, like you're stroking a luxury surface. And who doesn't like stroking luxury surfaces? I did try scratching it with a key and nothing happened, no marks, which is kind of the opposite to what I thought would happen, and so far it's kept looking clean. We'll see how that goes over time. On the front of the pad there is an LED light, and at the back you have a USB-C port to deliver the power. The USB-C cable is about one meter long, so fine for most people I think. You can place it by your bed, on your desk, on your lap in the bathroom, although it doesn't quite reach the sink. The charging brick is 120 watts. I guess Xiaomi needed a powerful source to charge multiple devices at once. I'm pretty sure you could actually use this to charge your laptop. A MacBook charger is nearly 100 watts, and this brick is much bigger than the Xiaomi power brick, which is cool. The Xiaomi claimed the pad will deliver 20 watts to each device, which is not good, not bad. Most likely because it has to balance the charge of three devices at once and spread that power over the entire pad, no matter where you put your device. Usually with most wireless charging pads, you have to put your phone in a specific spot on the pad for it to activate the coils underneath. So can you just throw your phone anywhere with the Xiaomi pad? <laughs> So yes, you can just dismissively throw your phone down on the pad as long as the center of the phone is touching a reasonable area of the surface. And the same goes with two phones. You can pretty much place them anywhere on the mat and they'll begin charging at near enough the same time. And you can easily throw on some AirPods too, including these non-wireless ones that I've put here as an example, as I don't own any other wireless charging devices because this is just a small channel. Although if you would like to send me any devices, my email is in the channel info page. So my OnePlus 9 Pro with its 4000 mAh battery on a normal wired charger charges to 100% in around 30 to 45 minutes depending on what mood it's woken up in. The Mi Wireless Pad after 30 minutes got the OnePlus up to a massive 14%. 
after which I could not resist the temptation to pick up my phone and play with it, so the experiment ended early at 30 minutes and at 14%. I think we can all see how long that was going to take. So obviously, what we can deduce from this experiment is that this is not a pad you should rely on in the morning when you forget to charge your phone overnight. This would be a nice desktop device or an overnight bedstand companion. If you're thinking to yourself, what size is this wireless charging pad? So you can imagine it placed somewhere in your home, here you are. And if you're imagining where to buy it, Unfortunately, it's only available in China at the moment, although there's usually a way you can ship these things overseas. I'll put the Chinese translation in the description, and if I find a shop that ships this internationally, I will certainly link it for you. Thanks for watching, it's been lovely, a subscription to the channel would make me feel like all of this has been worth it, and in the comments section please tell me your thoughts on the Xiaomi Air power, is what I'm calling it now. Go for it, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.